This is Heavy Conversation with Bruce and Jody, a podcast where we talk about being a big guy in today's world. I'm Bruce. And I'm Jody. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> What's up, Bruce? Oh, Jody, my my allergies <laughs> are decimating me Uh-oh. this week. Yeah, oh, it's like everything has bloomed, and it's yep. it's getting hot, and my allergies just are not they're not they're not liking it. And so, even though I've taken medication for this now i'm just like congested so apologies ahead of time for my the way that i sound i feel like i've just been taking allergy pills every day lately yeah i'm like even just like i'm just preemptively like taking it because i know i'll like oh it, i feel i've been feeling good and i'm like i kind of forget that i've been taking the pills every day right and then i stop and i'm like oh yep okay yep that's why i've been doing it every day <clears throat> yeah i because as soon as you miss a day then everything happens and that's yep. that's the thing my wife keeps telling me the same thing she's like you need to be taking them every day regardless just take one a day and it's going to mm-hmm. help and i'm i'm still we'll see we'll see i'm on my second day this is well, this not is great second day of on the pills yes oh, okay yes. well yeah, yeah. so Should so we'll see by now yeah we'll we'll see we'll see how it goes but well i'm i'm definitely okay with the it's sunny and nice out the last couple days so summer maybe has arrived here in portland knock on wood yeah Um, it's i'm okay with that we're gonna have some possibly high 90s uh nope no it it can slow down slow down (laughs) i saw i think i saw 97 this morning oh no come on i knew it was gonna do that too i'm like nothing 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 90 okay here we are here's summer well, that's the thing is we'll get it and then it'll go away and it'll go back to cool. And that's kind of the, the way it works here Ooh. in the Pacific Northwest. So, you know, we'll take, take, take it while we can get it. And then we'll see mm-hmm. what happens for mm-hmm. the rest of the summer. So get those short shorts out and get, I need a lot. I need, well, I got to go be careful with, I haven't been in the sun much because there hasn't been any. So yeah, well, let me, <laughs> let me tell you my sad story about the sun. Uh Oh, I learned it. <laughs> I learned the hard way. Yes, yes. I, you, you would think after after four decades that you know would have it down that putting on sunscreen is important before you spend a lot of time. Uh-huh. The thing is, it's like, you know, it's so cloudy and overcast here, and then when the sun comes out, I just like went out and I wanted to be in it. <laughs> yeah, I just want to soak it up. I was building a trampoline and uh, we have a trampoline in in the backyard now because we had a pool for a couple years and it just doesn't get warm enough long enough right for a pool to really work well Mm -hmm. so got rid of the pool got a trampoline put that together and it was sunny and beautiful out and uh, i did not put sunscreen on and uh my my head my head uh Mm -hmm. took Mm -hmm. the the brunt of the the heat and oh man it hurt that night you look a little you look a little tomatoey yeah so it's been a couple days now so yeah it's been a couple days and so you know it's not as bad but i had a sunburnt cap all the way around now it's at that point where even as i try to keep it moisturized and everything it's starting to peel so Mm, mm -hmm. you know fun times oh yeah yeah so gotta get that first burn and peel you do summer you do. And that reminded me that, yeah, I need to put on sunscreen. So if you're listening to this and you don't put on sunscreen, do it, please. Yes. You, I'm a ginger. I know that I can get burned through those clouds. It finds me. Oh, those, yeah. are the, those are the days that it does get you because you don't think about it. Right. Like just right. a little cloudy, but yeah, yeah, I was out pretty much all weekend and had stuff on, even though it was like raining I it like the sun peeks through and it'll scorch you. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. And that's, yeah, it's going to be hot. So sunscreen, hats, short shorts. Short shorts, swim, go out. Yeah, I'm going to, hopefully I'm going to try and get up, maybe go to Rooster Rock or something and go somewhere. I know the water's still super cold and all the rivers, but. Well, that's one of the things that they talk about here is that, you know, like I was saying, water, the water doesn't, it doesn't get hot enough, long enough for the water to really warm up. Oh no, never there are always people that get lost in the rivers or in the ocean because they go out and it's still cold. It might be hot outside, but the water is still cold. Mm -hmm. And there's a specific, there's something specific 
some, some they have a name for that and it's uh, i think it's, it's maybe it's some kind of shock or something like that but it's, yeah, yeah you know you're hot and then you get into the water yeah. and it just it packs a, a punch mm-hmm. you know and so the, every year uh, up here we lose people to who get into the water and, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. that kind of thing happens well i mean it's it's literally glacier runoff like totally it's, it's cold right <laughs> like right. even in august september like that water is still very cold <laughs> and that's the thing is we're gonna we're gonna be in the 90s but it's gonna be for like two or three days and then yeah. it's gonna go back down to like the 70s and 60s at night or 50s you know mm-hmm, even so mm-hmm. it just doesn't get that warm here so you know i yeah you just I'll, gotta, I'll get, gotta I'll get my feet in i'm not gonna go swimming swimming right i just want to i want to put some sunscreen on get some sun show off the new bearskin swimwear right right you know, all that jazz so yeah just don't don't doing. don't cannonball into the river i mean i can't imagine how i would do that so no i won't be doing that yeah i a long time ago i uh, went uh on a river float in missouri where the the water does get warm oh yeah 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 and uh went cliff jumping with you know cliff oh, okay. diving whatever yep, yep. uh with with friends and uh, jumped off the cliff after a couple other people had uh, decided to go and i jumped and uh i went all the way to the bottom i hit the rocks on the bottom and knocked mm. the wind out of me uh-huh. so i was choking and gasping as i'm trying to come up and i come up out of the water and i'm like ah! And all these people around are just cheering as I'm choking and <laughs> flailing. I'm dying. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So I, I definitely couldn't imagine doing that here. No, I, yeah, I love doing the river floats, but yeah, I don't know. I haven't really. I know there's. They do a couple of them here, but yeah, that water's too freaking cold. And and man, it's it's next level out here on the west coast. It's like. You yeah. know, I try to explain that to people from the Midwest that where I grew up or whatever that are like, you know, it's they're, they're used to the outdoors. And they're used to the country. But this mm-hmm. is like this is like you get out of town and you can get lost. People get lost and they have to get <laughs> airlifted out and found it yep. mean, like it, it's next level. So even like the river stuff, I'm I don't know, you know, it's, yeah, I'm not doing any whitewater rafting, <laughs> whatever. Right. I'm not doing none of that. Yeah. Yeah. So. I just want a lazy river. That's right. That's, That's all right. I need is a lazy river. So you can kick back, enjoy a little water, have a, a tasty adult beverage. And, mm-hmm. and get completely fried uh, the, with the, in the sun. <laughs> exactly. Speaking of tasty adult beverage, uh, I did go ahead and break mine out. And oh. yes, um, I have Envy, Envy from Parish Brewing Company in broussard louisiana okay all right yeah so it says this delicious beer was brewed and canned in small batches with great care and passion for our craft by parish brewing company in broussard louisiana and it's an american pale ale it's 5.1 percent and uh it's pretty tasty it's 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 nice it's a nice smooth american pale ale i love it i love it oops to find yes it. yeah it's uh got a little bit a little bit of a, a little bitterness at the end but uh nothing you know nothing that's gonna blow you away so uh i like it ale, it, ale is juicy hazy and crushable yeah i would agree with that yeah definitely uh hazy definitely hazy i get well, that i have which i have not broken into yet oh yeah I'll grab it Oh, it's a sunflower IPA from oh. New Spring Brewing. Um, it it says five percent of wholesale revenue to Ukraine resistance and humanitarian efforts. So nice. it's got kind of the the Ukrainian colors on there. Sunflowers are their oh, yeah. flower. Um, and this is from um, I don't know the name of it. Huh. Let me go back here. Oh, New Spring Brewing. I already said that. Yes. Where's where's that located? In Albany, Oregon. Oregon. Hey. All right. Albany, Oregon. I can speak. <laughs> uh, well, so good. it's a West Coast IPA. So, yeah, just a I, normal kind of hazy IPA. It's nothing. I like that. Nothing too like, crazy. Right. Right. I like that people are able to brewers and breweries are able to, you know, share their activism through 
the mm-hmm. the beers that they're making it's it's cool that they yeah. can do that make, so. it makes you feel good about drinking yeah yes <laughs> yes it does yes it does oh, yeah that's kind of a fun one yeah i like good. that yeah all New right spring brewing oh photo time right, here we go here we go oh, oh. so make sure you're following along on our untapped list you can see all of these wonderful beers that we have yes <laughs> Um, you can cheers us and toast us and yes. try some of our beers because I never can remember what I've had to the whatever beers. I'll be like, you remember that one with the flower? Nope. Nope. That's why we have a list. Yep. Uh-oh. Uh, this so, is a seven and a half. That's not too bad. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. This uh, feels like a the 5.1. It feels like that. That's okay. You know, my, my lunchtime beer, I'll take that. Yeah, my lunch. <laughs> right. I'll drink right. my lunch today. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, this last um, well, whenever Pride was this last weekend, as mm-hmm. we we're recording, um, it was very wet. <laughs> oh yes, it was. We, right. I don't know. We were saying that the weather was very homophobic because it was raining all weekend. So that was kind of the constant <laughs> joke. <laughs> right. Of course, it's going to rain all weekend for Pride, and then it's going to be nice all week. Of course, um, but it, you know, whatever. We still went out. Um, I went to on our riverboat cruise Ooh. on the Portland, Portland Spirit. Spirit. Yep, that was fun. <laughs> I'd never done that here, which was fine. Um, you know, they had some drag queens doing performances and all that jazz. It was it was fun. Nice. Um, there's a lot of really really big houses along the river there, uh, part of the way down, and um, it was a lot of fun going underneath all the bridges. Was really cool. It's kind of fun to, because a couple of them, I, uh, I don't remember which one. One of them had to go up for us so we could go under. Oh, nice. Um, so that was fun, getting pictures and seeing friends and making new friends. But yeah, a couple times we're like up on the whatever deck it's called, I don't know, um, yeah. on the top. And then it started pouring rain, so we had to go back inside and right. you know, back and forth. But yeah, I did that, um, which was a lot of fun. And then uh, went and participated in the Dyke March on saturday um so that was really cool um supporting our lesbian sisters um which was really fun and and yeah what else did i do there's so many things it was just like go 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 all day Um, sunday was the big uh gay pride parade so that was pretty good i don't think it rained on us during the parade so that was nice um you know kick off and marched along it, it was like at a new area a new it didn't go quite as far this year so that was kind of nice it wasn't quite the oh, yeah. hike and then ended up at the festival grounds along the river um yeah and wandered around said hi to people it's been a couple of years right so yeah they the, haven't yeah, yeah they haven't yeah had it in a couple so, of years so making it shorter is good because a lot for a lot of people it's one of those you know yeah, it's, yeah. it's a it's a test of endurance being back mm-hmm, out mm-hmm. and i know for me just getting out and going to do things i'm like okay i've done my time it's yep. time to go home well, i definitely <laughs> made sure i wore comfy shoes because i was like oh that's going to be a lot of walking all weekend so but yeah it was really good like awesome. it's really fun to see everyone coming out you know there was a lot of apprehension in the community to go you know be out and be proud with all the the stuff that's been happening and sure you know, um but yeah i think that's the reason even more to go out and be proud and you know right. fight against intolerance and hate you got to show and it seemed like there were people were saying that they'd never seen that many people on the parade route watching so oh wow that was really cool awesome was really cool because i mean yeah no one's done it for a couple of years so i think everyone was ready to be out and be proud and see the community out it was really good it was really nice absolutely nice well good good yeah i know you said you were going to have an action-packed weekend and it sounds like yeah i I took one day off to just soak my feet and rehydrate and sleep and yeah it was it was fun it was good but yeah you always need a recovery day after go 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 all weekend right right looking forward to there's a couple more pride events there's uh i think there's a beaverton pride this coming weekend or something oh nice um yeah typical um pride festivals happen like that the last weekend in june in most bigger cities so depending on where you are so look up your pride festivals go be an ally and support the community 
Yes. It's a lot of fun. There's always something, something crazy to see or watch or do. So we've we've mentioned short shorts a few times this oh, yes. uh yes this episode. I definitely saw a lot of those this weekend. Yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I uh have a number of things here that I'm kind of going through and uh shooting and, and all of that. And I uh got a shipment of uh clothing from Bonobo's uh fielder, Ooh. which we've talked about. It's their kind of uh uh streetwear uh inspired uh mm -hmm. collection that uh is a little less expensive than uh uh some of the uh the things you would normally find definitely on. less expensive yeah right right so uh you can find some of it on well all of it on bonobos but only up to double x now if you go to walmart.com you can actually find bigger sizes and uh that is uh that makes it worth uh checking out so they sent me a few things uh let's see i thought i'd show you a couple of the things that i've got here and we could talk about them just because sure. I, I like the way they look they're yeah, yeah. It, it's definitely they, they're doing some cool things with bright uh colorful pieces uh different kinds of fabrics it's mm. uh, a lot of stretchy stuff a lot of comf comfortable things uh like these shorts Okay. That uh, uh, they are, uh, it's kind of like a nylon uh, sort of running short. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big fan of these. I like them. I would say that uh, uh, order a size up from whatever size you normally wear because, okay. uh, well, for two reasons. One, because it's nylon and so it only stretches. There are only certain parts of it that stretch. Yep. Uh, two, because my friend, they are see through. <laughs> uh -oh, uh -oh. so if they're, if they're too <laughs> they're too tight uh -huh, uh, somebody's uh -huh. gonna get a show so are those do they have a stripe down the side of them uh these do not okay. uh we're just so, trying to see which ones those were yeah hold a stripe it on the top i see okay i'll scoot back and hold no it's all right up through so you can i just saw a stripe yeah. and i was like oh that's on the top okay. yeah so they're like a bright orange and they've got kind of a very light pink ish kind of waistband i mean it looks good i, I love the way these look I, yeah 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 and uh uh i've got uh, some different things that uh to to go along with it so uh i've got this uh let's see it's a gray uh long sleeve really stretchy kind of running stretchy kind of running shirt mm -hmm. um it dries it's one of those quick dry kind of things yeah very yep. very stretchy those are good uh, yeah it does have long long sleeves but you push them up it's good for if you're going to be mm -hmm. out and about let's see here uh they do some kind of like these aren't so they look kind of like uh swimming trunks and yep. they kind of are and that they have a sort of it's not exactly mesh it's basically a full like short on the inside mm -hmm. that um like a liner yeah kind of like a like a short liner but it's not the kind that uh i've talked about many times hating it's okay. like yeah it's very soft it's very comfortable uh they're gray shorts and they've got kind of a yellow liner on the inside um super stretchy and they've got these uh on the <clears throat> ends of the the uh drawstring here it's that uh oh i don't know it's the stuff that uh floats that you see in swimming pool it's that kind of material like when you get okay. I, don't, I don't even know they're like it's like waterproof and floaty kind of stuff. I don't know. I like the I like all the little details and things that mm -hmm. they've kind of thrown in thrown into all this. So, um, so there's a fielder all purpose short features yes. mesh lining and an incredible stretch fabric that dries in a snap. There we go. Yes, absolutely. And you can tell. And it is one of those that I know when they had uh, sent it over that it was one of those things they were talking about is like yeah if you. You're gonna you're gonna get them wet. That's great, but they're they will also dry, and you won't feel like you're wearing swimming trunks if you decide, okay, we're gonna go get something to eat after mm -hmm. swimming or whatever. They'll dry out. You'll be good to go. So, uh, yeah, definitely uh, uh, impressed with kind of the functionality of some of the stuff. So let's see here. Now I've got a pair of pants that I don't think are the 
I don't think they're the track pant, but um, they at the bottom have these snaps that will, uh, I think they're like a commuter pant. Okay. And uh, you can, you can snap the legs so that uh, if you're riding your bike, you're not going to get a leg caught in, uh, you know, in your chain on your bike, which I did not believe for the longest time that that was ever a thing <laughs> until I got until my pants yeah. caught in the chain and it basically ripped up my leg. So, um, yes. So I, uh, very much like what they've done here. It's a, it is, it's another, uh, kind of stretchy fabric that, uh, I've got a pair that's in, uh, kind of a Navy, um, yeah, it says 92% polyester, 8% spandex. So, uh, yeah, I, I like the, the little kind of, um, details that they've added to them and, uh, they're mighty comfortable. So nice. I, I've been super impressed with what they've, with what they've done with, uh, with the fielder collection. I would definitely like to see them increase the, uh, the size range that they're offering through, uh, Walmart, I think right now it, it goes to a three X. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it, it's uh, one of those things where I think if people buy it, they will make more. Yeah. And well, especially at that price point, it's, it's, it's really nice. Totally. That that's the thing. Yeah. I mean, they've got shorts, t-shirts, sleeveless tees. They've got, uh, track jackets, hoodies, um, all kinds of different things. And so, and, and they have, they have some interesting styles to them as well. And mm -hmm. one of the things that they're doing with Fielder is uh, twice a year, they're working with different uh, uh, artists to create uh, designs and different kinds of, of themes and, and prints for, yep. uh, for their clothes. And so some of the new stuff that they've got out is uh, made with a different, um, uh, artist, so you know, definitely worth taking a look at. And at the price point, I mean, it's it's uh, an entry level price, so you're not you're not paying what you would expect for mm -hmm. bonobos. Yeah, stuff. like the shorts are like twenty bucks. Some shirts are like sixteen. Yeah, I mean, on at Walmart, a couple of them are on sale for like six dollars. Some of the shirts, four dollars. Yeah, yeah, a four dollar um, a four dollar three x uh, long sleeve pocket tee. It's like okay yeah you know, why, why not just right put it in your basket because you'll wear it for something totally so yeah that's it's one of those things and i i'll say the same thing that we always end up saying with this stuff is that uh they aren't doing it, they aren't doing enough to promote the fact that they've got extended sizes mm -hmm. at, at this price so if you get the chance take a look at walmart.com search for fielder f-i-e-l-d-e-r or bonobos fielder whatever and uh, you can see what they've got and yeah. from there lots of fun stuff yes so yeah that's uh that's basically all i've got um you know it's, I'm, I'm recovering from my my sunburn trying to keep hydrated trying yep. to um deal with allergies and you know all the fun stuff yeah that sounds like you're having a blast over there i sure am i sure put am. the lotion on its skin take the pills yep yeah yep. <laughs> all the good stuff summer is here summer's here i know we got i'm excited we got a couple more photo shoots coming up for bearskin we got one tonight for the new underwear that comes out and then another swimwear shoot even though because we only shot the the uh, camo and the black but then yes. we have the oops all berries in the navy for the blue to shoot awesome but those have been already better selling than the ones we shot so I'm like okay well i don't know that we need to shoot them but we're going to right right we were just waiting for the weather to cooperate a little bit more so we could do it the weather the weather is absolutely co cooperating i can yes see. it's like yes. now it's good let's go let's get out mm. there so mm. A bit busy couple days at Bearskin as always, and we're oh, good. Good. Looking right. forward to another month, another new print. I know, I know. July's almost here. It's crazy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's yeah. Okay. Yes. Sure enough. Well, right. till next time, Bruce. I hope you can recover from your allergies and start taking your pills regularly. Yes. All that yes. jazz. Well, I can say that this American Pale Ale is healthy. 
oh, yes. move things along. So it'll I'm, help. Yeah. Yes. I'm feeling good. So, all right. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to Heavy Conversation. Be sure to like and subscribe on iTunes or wherever you get your podcasts. Podcasts. (laughs) Podcasts.